This free real estate mastermind sponsored by Earth to Orbit is your opportunity to show up with questions, thoughts, anything I can do to help you build your business. I'm committed to helping you do it. Show up Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Central at zoomwithrob.com to learn guaranteed, proven, and repeatable methods that will help you grow your business and your income. Register at zoomwithrob.com and I'll see you there. To learn more about Earth to Orbit, visit earthtoorbittraining.com. Welcome to the Earth to Orbit Real Estate Mastermind. Welcome to another episode of the Earth to Orbit Mastermind. We're hitting some highlights today uh, because pretty soon the Earth to Orbit Mastermind are going to be exclusively for Earth to Orbit members. And we're going to be posting the highlights here on YouTube, but the free open hour free coaching calls are going to be going away at the end of the month. So for those of you that are in Earth to Orbit, Awesome. For those of you that are not, it's going to be a good time to get in there. Okay. Uh, so Edith, we were just talking about um, your open houses and we played a demo video from earth to orbit showing exactly how that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to show that video one more time because just to recap. So what Edith, what you were talking about was you did the open houses. You got a bunch of prospects. That's awesome. Not quite intentional about uh, setting the appointment using the ABC script. So remember that in Earth to Orbit, we have 16 on-site demo videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cue this one back up real quick. Now, what we have here is Austin and Rita, their first-time home buyers. And remember in the course, we have a good exit, a bad exit, good entrance, and a bad entrance. So this is the good exit. So I want you to listen for a few things. I'll give you a little play-by-play. -play -play. You're going to hear me recap their situation. You're going to hear me ask more about what they're looking for. And it's important to ask for what they're looking for because when you give them the ABC script at the end, remember that the B, the benefits, mm -hmm. need to be customized for their needs because when they tell you what they're looking for, that's their motivation. And so I need to ask these questions so that when I go to close them at the end, I can give them a really compelling script. So I don't just want to say, let's meet to talk about buying a house. I want to say, let's meet to talk about, and then I can insert the thing that they're trying to accomplish. You're going to hear me ask them, can I make a recommendation? You're going to hear me give them the ABC script. So let's go ahead and do that now. Here we go. So Austin, Rita, how does this home fit what you're looking for? I think it's a beautiful home. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think it's exactly what we're looking for right now, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. Thanks for sharing that. So tell me, what are some must-haves that you need, but you don't see here in this home? I mean, it's definitely really nice. We mm -hmm. just really need a bigger backyard for our dog. Mm -hmm. Bigger backyard for the dog? Yeah. Well, you got to yeah. tell me, what kind of dog do you have? He All right, what did I do right there? You could tell me what I did right there. You were asking them specifically what their needs were. That's right, Edith, 100%. I asked them what they needs, their needs were. When they, the first thing they said was, we need a bigger yard for the dog. What was my follow-up question? Oh, what kind of dog? That's right. Tell me about the dog. And in Earth to Orbit, we call that a... Off-ramp. Off Boom. Gold star. That's right. Good job, Mercedes. Thank you. I heard a couple other people chime in there, too. That's right. I took the off-ramp. Shows I care about them. I want to know more about their situation. The dog is the first thing they said. Their dog is really important to them. That's helpful for me to know. I took the off-ramp. I could have just said, okay, big yard for the dog. What else? But I didn't. I took the off-ramp to learn more about the dog. An Australian Shepherd, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So he definitely needs yeah. a big backyard to run around. Absolutely. What's your pup's name? Uh, his name's Blaze. Blaze, yeah. okay. Super full of energy all yep. over the place. So yeah. Yeah. just kind of fit. Perfect name for Blaze. That's <laughs> awesome. We have a little puggle named Bob. Aww. He's uh, about this big, 12 years old, does not need a big yard. Yeah, He's yeah. a couch potato, that's for sure. <laughs> gotcha. So uh, what else do you need aside from a bigger yard for Blaze? Um, I think just a bigger home in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as we said before, we work from home. Mm -hmm. We also work out every day. Okay. So having our own setup at home, home gym would be yeah. ideal. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I exercise every day too, so I can relate to that for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, would this be your first home purchase? Yeah, yeah. it will be. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you, you have a great local agent like me helping you find the perfect home. Mm -mm. No. No, no, we Okay, don't. thanks for sharing that. Well, if I understand it right, it sounds like you moved back from Houston, back to your roots. You're ready to get out of renting in South Austin and you want to own instead of rent in this area. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thanks. So you hear me, I ask them more questions, then I give a summary of their situation. Remember, the point of the summary is to show the prospects, I hear you, I've been listening, I understand 
what your situation is. And people want to feel understood, especially when they go into open houses and most agents are not taking the time to ask these questions and they're only trying to get paid and they can smell your commission breath from a mile away. It's important to express, I hear you. I, I'm taking the time to get to know what you're looking for. Now, check out the next part. For sharing that, may I make a recommendation then? Sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I now, again, the point of asking, may I make a recommendation? It does two great things. Number one, it establishes you as an expert to make a recommendation in something. When you say, can I make a, re make a recommendation? That's telling the person you're talking to, I have the authority to make the recommendation on something. Number two, you're getting their permission to close. You're getting their permission to take the next step. And it doesn't seem as forced from their perspective because they just told you, yes, please. Now, I want you to listen for the A, B, C script. And let's do this. I want you to just kind of raise your hand when you hear the A, raise it again when you hear the B, raise it again when you hear the C. Who can tell me what does A, B, C stand for? Action, benefit, commitment. That's right, Larry. Gold star for Larry. Action, benefit, commitment. You're going to hear me say the action I want them to take. You're going to hear me say the benefits as to why it would benefit them to take that action. Then you're going to hear me ask them to commit to taking that action. Raise your hand when you hear all three of those. I think the next step to set you up for success would be to set a time to meet to talk about the process of buying the perfect home that has everything you want, including that big yard for Blaze and that home gym. Mm. Uh, in this kind of market, you definitely want a really detail-oriented, super proactive agent like me to mm. help you make sure we don't miss out on any opportunities. And I just love educating, working with first-time home buyers, making sure you feel comfortable and confident throughout the whole process. So what would be the best time for us to meet? You think a weekday or a weekend would be best? So did everybody hear each part? A, the action, set a time to meet to talk about getting you back to Austin. B, the benefits, super proactive agent like me helping you in the market, and I just love working with first-time home buyers. C, the commitment, would weekdays or weekends be best? Now, listen to the funnel as I go to close. Probably a weekday. Yeah. Yeah. Weekday, okay. Mm -hmm. Morning, afternoon, or early evening? Uh, early evenings, I think when we're yeah. done with work, yeah. yeah okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So maybe would this Tuesday at 5 p.m. or Wednesday at 6 p.m. be best for you? Um, Wednesday at six would be mm -hmm. great. Yeah. yeah. And okay. how long does that typically go for? Oh yeah. It's about 45 to 60 minutes, just depending on how many questions you might have, okay. uh, but we can actually shorten up that meeting. I'm going to send you a survey. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the buyer meeting survey. It's just going to be about 10 minutes to fill out. It's going to give me all the details of your criteria. So we can hit that meeting, uh, right from the get go, make sure we have everything we need to set you up for success. Boom. And then I wrap it up. So remember the, when you close for the appointment, always the same mornings, afternoons, or excuse me, weekdays or weekends, mornings, afternoon, early evenings, propose two times. We're not going to say, when do you want to meet? We're not going to say, I'd love to meet. We're going to say weekdays or weekends, mornings, afternoon, early evenings, propose two times. And then you heard me allude to the pre-buyer survey, which again is included in Earth to Orbit. And you can always upgrade to appointment autopilot if you want my team to automate that completely for you. So Edith is going to bring that to her next open house and she's going to be setting more appointments. Good stuff. Hey, All right. Rob. Who's got something else to bring to the table? Matt, what's up, brother? Yeah, I just want to add to that, that that statement that you use at the open house, I also use in my drip campaigns and it gets the most response. You, Which statement? Uh, the uh, what time's best, what days work best for you, weekend or weekdays? And then hit them with the evenings or afternoons. Uh, or the uh, mornings, evenings, or afternoons, um, and then uh, then proposing two times. But that first statement, what work, what works best for you, weekends or weekdays, gets the most response. So you actually put the the commitment to set an appointment in your drip campaigns. In my drip campaign. So that's just automated the, for the initial buyer consult. Now that's right. for uh, like online leads or Facebook leads or you know, different lead sources, the open house, I do it at the open house, right? but that has a whole different drip campaign behind yeah. it. Uh, but the online leads, I implemented that as one of the very first, uh, it, it does an introduction. This is who I am. I'd love mm -hmm. to help you, blah, blah, blah. And then what works best for you for time for us to chat or to meet in person. Huh. So that is so creative. I never thought of that. You, you're, you're, you're closing for the appointment in a drip campaign, which by the way, takes no, no time because it's right. automated, right? You add them to your CRM, it's automated and you're sending appointments from these drip campaigns. With, a, with, uh, um, oh, what's the program we use? Calendly. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. So I have an automated system for the for the appointment setting as well. Yeah. Uh, so that that alone keeps me very busy because it, yep. it kind of filters out who's who's really going to set the appointment with you and who's not right from the gate. Yeah. And that's the beauty. And in the systems module of Earth to Orbit, when I talk about appointment autopilot, setting up our surveys with Calendly, one of the main benefits of that is they're setting the appointment, which means you're really only getting more motivated people because they're set, they're taking the initiative to set the appointment rather than you. That's awesome. And no wonder that you're taking off well into orbit and closing multiple deals every month. Good for you, man. That's amazing. Fantastic. Right. right. I got time for one more uh, question thought that someone brought to the table today. So who has something that I can help you with to push the needle in the right direction? Bam, it's your second time here. I remember last weekend we were talking about you're you're really trying to get some momentum going. What is one thing that if you could start doing it today would make a dramatic impact in your business? And uh, in my first deal. <laughs> okay. Who do you, do you have prospects in your pipeline right now? I do. I, I'm actually working with this one um, and getting her to move the needle has like really been um, a challenge, but she actually just looked at a home that she's really in love with. And this is the first time I've actually, I've heard her say she loved the house mm. several times, but this is mm -hmm. the first time she's actually really contemplated it past that first day. Mm -hmm. like, is she pre-approved? She is. Have you asked her, do you want to make an offer? Yes. I What'd have. she say? Um, she wanted to make an offer and it was a low ball offer, but I knew that the investor, the fix and flip person wouldn't have taken the offer actually. Okay. Cool. He's been very clear about gotcha. that. Well, you know what will help you get that first deal? Having more clients, oh, right? Yeah. Having Absolutely. more clients, yeah. hinging, and this is very common for newer agents, but it's, and I've been there. It's very frustrating when you have like two or three leads and you're hinging all of your future dollars <laughs> mentally on that small handful of leads. And you're like, why won't you just do anything? Remember, motivated prospects are discovered. They're not created. You can't make someone more motivated, right? I just had a killer oh, yeah. buyer presentation two days ago. 11 out of 10, sign the buyer rep agreement. She sends me a text this morning. I've decided to wait. All right. I'm not going to, you know, like there's nothing I can say that I haven't said already. So I'm just going to follow up with her. So bam, what I would really encourage you to do before prices go up is to get Earth to orbit because it teaches you the nine free methods proven of lead generation to go get more leads. And there are many people like one, two, three, four, five people on this call that are, that are really using it again. Matt, you know, is closing four to five deals in escrow at all times for a reason. He took the info and got it out there. Now, I'll just point out, gang, technically, investing in your education, you get paid to do it. Because, well, let me ask, like, Matt, if you had to ballpark your total GCI that you've closed and is pending since Ooh. investing in Earth to Orbit, ballpark, what would you say? I don't even know. <laughs> is it more even, than 50 grand? It's more than 50 grand. Yeah. Right. And you just got a, a million dollar deal under contract. Correct. Right. So <laughs> it's probably, it's probably a, approaching a hundred thousand dollars by now. And it's been like seven months. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if Matt invested, you know, a thousand bucks in a course and is making a hundred thousand dollars within a year, that's a worthwhile investment. And I think too many people have the wrong mindset on education. They say, I'll invest in, in education when I close more deals. No, you'll close more deals when you invest in education, <laughs> right? You, 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 and this is the figurative you for anyone watching this, right? When I got my first high ticket coach in real estate, now I had made 127 grand in my first year in real estate, just by like grit and hard work and trying to figure it out. When I met my coach, and he was like, it's 1500 bucks a month for coaching. And I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot of money, right? I know, now, that's very standard when you're de really dealing with a high producer, okay? But I said, well, you know what? If I close one deal from this guy, it's going to pay for a year of coaching. And, he, and obviously, he's the real deal, so I'm going to do it. 
Okay. By the end of that year, I made over $400,000 in GCI and I spent 18 grand on coaching. And by implementing what he taught me, I made that, was that a good return on investment? Of course it was. So, um, you know, bam, we have super affordable monthly payment plans. And I would really encourage you <laughs> to go in on it. This. I would have signed up last week. It's just that I'm actually part of a coaching um, that I've <laughs> been at, that I've asked to, it was good for me for the time that I was with it. And I've, I've sent an email since to see uh, about getting out of it. Um, so I'm waiting to hear back from that. I, yep. can, I, I can't absolutely do two of them at the same time. For sure. I get it. I get it. Do everything you can. I saw Matt like, oh, man, come on. <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, know Rob, I always say that because, as you know, many times we've talked, I've done a lot of different uh, trainings and coachings and went other places and it, it's all the same material, but no action behind it. I shouldn't say no action. There's no, uh, the proof wasn't in the pudding. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. so it was all the same content and somebody's getting rich on it. This, this course specifically, I'm going to be, you know, I had Z and Edith, my mentor, she'll tell you before I started Earth to Orbit, which was, I believe in June or August of last year, I think it was, uh, I had zero zero leads, zero prospects, zero deals in the, in the pipeline. I just closed a bunch of stuff and went on vacation. You know, since then it has been nonstop. I current, I can tell you my numbers, not, not as far as gross commission, but it's a numbers game. So I have consistently 12 to 13 clients under contract. That doesn't mean that they're buying a house. That means like an agency contract. And I'm consistently doing two to three deals uh, in escrow to close each month since I started this program um, and really got the, it took a few months to get it rolling, but I had a few stragglers. I started out like one or two closings this month, skip the month, one or two closings. But once I got it in place, I've been consistent with two to three closings a month. But it, it, I took man. Earth's orbit, followed exactly what it said to do and implemented it. Boom. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for sharing that, dude. Your inspiration, no doubt. All right, gang, that's been another episode of the Earth to Orbit Mastermind. Make sure to check out the replay at robstein.tv. Like, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified when great new content comes out.